Our next tutorial is how to theme Arch Merged Mate. As you can see, I started the tutorial with this locking screen. So that's how it looks on your system, on your Mate system. There we go. So the only thing we've actually done, and we didn't do anything really, is variety. So variety kicked in all the, all the, the, the start really. And we can just switch any of these and or take a look at the wallpaper selector, you know, let's go all Spider-Man on you. And that's it. So we can select wallpapers. Fine. How about icons? How about themes? So this is just about theming this Mate desktop. So this is the look now when you install it out of uh, the GitHub uh, scripts. And you need to be here in the preferences, the administration, the control center. These three are the ones you want to spend your time in. And we're gonna look, go for the look and the feel. So appearance. As usual, by the way, we have installed Compis Manjaro, and that's why we have this range effect. Um, well, let's take something. So there are lots of elements in here. These are the traditional ones, but we have our arc themes as well and they will work here too. So the Mantis is the green one, the Mandy Dark is the red one, and it's all up to you to decide what color you want, because let's have a look, this is all red. Why not go for Arc Crimson Darker? Don't uh, bother about this little message that here, it wants the GNOME icon theme. It's uh, not uh, necessary to have it at all. So then you have to, or you go in the background, but the background is done with variety, so we don't care there. And we can go for another font as well. Uh, so select, this is sans regular. Do we have Motor, which is the standard font in sans regular? regular. So yes, it is installed. So if you want to spend some time and not go for the sans regular, but the Motor sans regular, that's something else. And then we see that it differs a little bit. It comes, it changes a little bit. So it's up to you to decide if you want to change that or not. The same applies for here. Check out on your system and your monitor what looks best for you. Back to the theme, because a lot of things we need to do. And the, the button, button to change it is in here, customize. So we have our Crimson Dark. Yes, selected. How about the window border? Yes, it's correct. But I can change if I want to. But there's no need to. Icons. This is the GNOME icon theme. You like it, you hate it, I don't know. But you know, Arch Merch, we want to have a beautiful design system. And that's why Arch Merch is packed with all these icons. And this is one of them, e-papyrus. Let's put something by the side here, places. Now we have this system. Uh, hopla. By the way, this is a file manager. It's not Nemo, it's not Prunar, it's Kaka. So remember the name. This is Mate, the file manager of Mate. I'll put this one here and then from time to time I'll pop up here and you check out the icons. So this is ePyrus. There is Mate as well, which is this kind of look, using the GNOME icons and some of its own. Mate Faenza looks like this, also nice. And dark, Faenza gray and dark, small differences probably in here at the top. Not really. So there are small differences between these. Then we have the Numix, Numix, the circle icon theme. We know that one. Plank is not activated. We could run Plank to show the icons. Paper and paper mono dark. Papyrus, light one as well. There's also Papyrus adapter. So a lot of icons and savvy icons, you know those. Uh, maybe this one would be nice with this wallpaper. So a pinkish kind of wallpaper. Um, icon theme with a red, but there's also red icons like this one. 
maybe this red, red with that red would be nice. So that's the fun with the SAVI icons. We can change the colors and these are part of the SAVI Extra part, what I call SAVI Extra on Eric Dubois. That's about 100 different colors. So it's all SAVI Mono, Colora, but this is Blue Love. This is another color again. This is another color again. And it's all the same icon, really. It's just changed colors. It's an extra decimal code. Not bad as well. If we have still the same wallpaper, of course, so we can fix him and say, look, I, for today, stop, pause on current. I don't want to have this one for the rest of the day. So, yes, we have a lot of uh, icons. You just go ahead and choose one of them. And then the pointer, don't forget it. I like my breeze snow, or you can have a breeze black. It all depends what you want. That's it. So customizing has been done. How about the conkey? Right mouse click, no conkey. We are used to have it in XFCE. We're used to have it in open box. I3 is not necessary to have conkeys. But how about Mate? That's a little bit diff more difficult. And because of that, I'll probably is best to do that in a separate tutorial. But as you can see, everything works, everything looks good. And we have now a system that looks completely different than it used to be only five minutes or so ago. We did change something in another tutorial, just to make sure you know, we have installed Compass and in Compass, you have this Compass configuration settings manager, that's one. But we have also in the mate week, we set here whatever we want. So this is all wobbly, but you can decide to go back to the normal kind of look, which is this Marco software compositor, no wobbly anymore. And everything looks and feels back the same as it was. Since we're now on mate week, we could take a look at what's in here as well. Um, there's one big, 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 big uh, mistake you're going to make. And it's good that I remember it now. I said it's correctly the way it should be. So right mouse click on the desktop. You can create a folder and you just can start working on your, your um, desktop. But all that stops if you say show desktop icons gone. Right mouse click is dead. That's a, a question we get a lot. So show desktop icons, leave this one on. You can work on your desktop, you can make folders, you can do stuff on your desktop. You still have the right mouse click to go to the terminal mainly. Um, but if you want, of course, these icons, and then you can just add them to your desktop, but keep this one on. That's my suggestion. Interface, your icons on menus, um, whether you want it or not, that's up to you. It's not in here, it must be other menus and show icons on buttons as well okay uh, that's it and this is for a separate tutorial i think it's best or shall i do it in here let's do it in a separate tutorial so there you go we have uh, tweaked a lot of things already and um, we're going to show you even more in separate tutorials